What up, my bitches? Yeah, un unequip that solid eye. It's almost out of battery. I let it recharge. Welcome back to Chin Strap. Everybody's my golf. Ass. <laughs> We're here playing golf again. Everybody's favorite game. I remember that was there. Gotta, gotta make sure you get all the muns. You probably gotta remember how to play this fucking game. Yeah. Take me a second, but I'll get it. I'll get it. I love this game. It's a great game. I'm glad to be playing it again, even for just one episode tonight, but that's okay. At oh, least yeah, that's right. It's right there. At least it's something. Something's better than nothing. This that's what my mom always said. I feel, I feel like this game even, like, um... Yeah. Like, they kind of had, like, this whole thing with, like, the dust settling, like, on the camera and stuff, you know? Like, you'll see it coming up here, and it kind of happens, like, intermittently throughout this part, too. But, like, um, I don't know. I, I feel like, like, number five never did that. But I don't remember. I, I don't know. I don't remember. So I don't, I don't play the... Are we ever going to play five on the show, Bill? I don't know. Because, I mean, I know, I, don't like I know neither one of us liked that game. My eyes. Um. <laughs> yeah, I know neither one of us like it. Yeah. Uh, normal mode. If you play it the the proper way, it's not bad, but it still kind of wears thin very quickly, in my opinion. Ooh, you can put a dot sight on your M4 if you want. I just gotta remember how. You press start. Press start. Go to weapons. Go to your M4, and L2 to customize, and then you go to the top mount. And then you can put it. Ray. You can buy suppressors. You can buy the foregrips. I think you can buy the foregrips. I think you have to go to the Drebin store to buy them. Oh, you have a laser sight. The laser sight on that bitch. Oh, you have to buy it. The good thing about those mounts, I'm pretty sure, is you only have to buy one. I'm pretty sure, then you can put it on any weapon. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, God! Which kind of doesn't make sense, but fuck it. What was, that? What was the thing? What? Yeah, I was trying to remember. To do a pull-up? Yeah. I think it's L2, R2. Yeah, probably. Whatever. I'm an old man. There's no time for pull-ups. I forgot what I had for breakfast this morning. So you look at all the dust on the camera, like that's cool. Yeah, I like that. I don't feel like they ever did that number five. This one's just so much more cinematic. Oh yeah. Well just I don't know, the gameplay's a lot better. Cause you don't have all these dumb resources and shit to worry about, you know? Yeah. Like that's what I fucking hated about <laughs> number five, is like, oh you've gotta Fulton out everybody. You gotta Fulton out this this Shipping container full of garbage. Yeah. So I can go take it back to my haven and be like, Nyeh. oh, you start you start every mission with the weapons you want exactly. Like it kind of sucks. It kind of sucks not you know having to just find weapons like you had to in the old games. Back in my day, I used to hate people. Well, it, I don't now know. I still hate <laughs> it. Made it more special, in my opinion. Anyway, that like you know, when you found this weapon, you're like, oh shit! Like now things have changed a bit. But in the other one, it's just like here's like thirty thousand different guns that all have do the fun. same. That all do the same thing, and you can start with them whenever you want. The only one that you had to wait for was the, uh, the long range uh, trank sniper. Yeah, and once you got that, the game was over. Yeah. Like, nothing mattered anymore. Like, the rules of engagement have now been thrown out the window. <laughs> because you could lay down an entire camp from a mile away and, and, then, go, and then go faulting everybody out. And then it's like, okay, well, there you go. You got anything on you, sir? <gasps> Thank you. He's got some of them warbly legs. Oh, no. You made me fall! You Bitch. 
This part is a little confusing. Uh, I think you have to hold, like hug a wall here somewhere. Yeah, right up here. You go up there, and then you hug that wall on the left. Yeah. No. Nope. Oh. No. Nope. Well, you can do that too. <laughs> That's what I'm doing it. <laughs> Isn't that an handsome thing? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, Jeff Goldblum. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I just heard Aaron mimic it once. He, uh, he recreated his uh, sexy Malcolm in Jurassic Park when he's laying there with his shirt open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he uh, Jeff Goldblum just remade it in his For old Halloween. age. No, for the just for general for fun, <laughs> because uh, you know they're doing the movie the um. domination. So he he laid out uh, his old self, being like I'm a sexy boy. The domination. <laughs> Who's shitting in there? You know they never did ever have an explanation for why Snake uses a knife all of a sudden in this game. The explanation is because Metal Gear Solid 3 happened. Yeah. Why would you shit inside of a giant drum like that? Why'd he pull up his pants, man? <laughs> Oh God! Oh Johnny! It's just so funny to see that in like such a serious game. Yeah, <laughs> like this shit happens unironically. Oh, I like that too. They're like, he's like, I don't need the box anymore. <laughs> I have a shit can. I have a shit barrel. <laughs> the barrel is pretty great. <laughs> And what makes no sense is that you can equip it at any time. <laughs> yeah, yes. Like, are you carrying it constantly? Yeah. So yeah, if you <laughs> equip it and hit X, you can roll around. <laughs> Which is so stupid. Well, you have to go to yeah, items and equip it, yeah. <laughs> oh, you got a box too. Rum ham. Should probably do the compress actually. Compress, maybe regain. Is that a, go back to the compress? Is that a fucking Metal Gear Solid what? Like Metal Gear? I feel like that's a, a reference to the original Metal Gear. Could be. Or no, wait, that's Arsenal Gear. Never mind. That's Metal Gear Solid Two. Okay. <laughs> you can play the iPod. And listen to Calling to the Night constantly. <laughs> Calling to my plight. Oh, no. Thank you. I mean, he deserved it. He was just standing out in the open. Yeah, that's true. You gonna use your drum? Your rum ham? I will. <laughs> just gotta, you know, get the stuff. I like how it only took them like so many freaking games to like allow you to crouch and walk at the same time. It took them so long. Over here, form up. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I don't really even know it's you. It could be anybody in there. <laughs> Do you remember the multiplayer in this game too? Yeah. Like the multiplayer is sweet. I love this man. Of shit like this, yeah. A lot of fun. See, why don't they remake a game like this? Could you imagine if they like updated this with like at least 60 FPS and shit? Yeah. Like it looks so good. Oh, they saw you. They see you. Well, I was just getting. <laughs> Grabbing the guns. I gotta get that DP double pet. <laughs> oh! There he goes. Double penetration. <laughs> Stealing everybody's guns. <laughs> That's all you're doing. 
Snake stress is going up. <clears throat> oh, good job. How do you hit you? Wow, he's so good at evading. Look at that evasion counter just fucking plummet. He's so good at evading. <laughs> oh, he got caught again. I just needed the, I needed the gun. <laughs> I just needed the gun. And you wanted the 5.56 five, ammo. Get your guns now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, hey. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 it's nothing. It's nothing. Stop it. All right, stop. There's no one here. There's no one here, guys. Shh. This stress cap out at 80? No, it's just I'm not stressed anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you won't make him throw up by killing too many people or anything. Yeah. I think circles reload if you want to reload. That's, That's what reload. it was. Yeah. Oh, sorry, mister. Oh, sorry, mister. What the fuck was that? Is that a mosquito? Oh, sorry, mister. I think the oh, good thing sorry, about mister. tranking them, too, is that I don't think they respawn. Because oh, if you sorry. kill them, if you kill them, they all respawn after a point. Um, if you ever want to do iron sights when you're aiming, I think it's triangle when you're aiming. If you hold all one and then triangle, you'll iron sight it. Did I get you? Yep, I got yeah, you. you got him. This is the place I always went in this yeah. room. Yeah. I think I did that too. <laughs> well, it's like the perfect camping spot, you know? Yeah. I came here to fuck with people who camped. Oh. 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 I don't know if I ever played the multiplayer in this as much as I did on number three. Because number three had subsistence. I played that for a good while. But maybe I played this one a lot. I can't remember. Did get you? Did get you? Yeah, the multiplayer was really good. Oh, that's a good gun. I like that gun. I definitely hit him. that time. Yeah, he'll, 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 he'll go down a little bit here. Situational awareness is something that man lacks. <laughs> Nobody will find me in here. It's so dark, I can't see happened? anything. <laughs> I've solved it. Oh, you got a laser sight for free. See, you, should, you didn't even need to buy one anyway. What's that noise? See, this is exactly the kind of shit that was missing in, in Metal Gear Solid Five. Like, you have like these really like kind of elaborate, elaborately built maps that have like multiple like routes and stuff they kind of had it in number five but not not to the same extent you know like they needed to have more of this kind of thing where like oh here's a random building you can go into you know yeah it made it more intricate yeah or you can you know go on the outside and go down the, the alleyways you don't have to go in the building at all and it like, allowed you to explore a little bit more <clears throat> Because the other world number five sucked. Yeah. Like, because it, it was just a bunch of like open areas split by like hallways. It's because it was made into an open world game, which 
I don't think the idea of an open world stealth game is a bad idea. I just think that they needed to have some kind of like limitations on like what weapons you were allowed to have and use at any given moment, you know? I think that was the problem with it. Or part of the problem, anyway. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Like, I'm standing right here, you idiot. Who threw that? <laughs> Who threw that? Who's trying to kill this guy? Not me. I'm not a murderer. Not lethal. I saw a gun. <laughs> just gonna, just gonna, just gonna. A lot of guns. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You're about to die. Thanks, guys. Trying to get the guns. What do you think I'm doing? Ooh. Order. I don't kill people. The mortars do. Yeah, mortars kill people. Not me. <laughs> Could you imagine, like, how like precise you'd have to be to accurately shoot a mortar like that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even accurately hit them. No, no! <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I like how in these battlefields too, they just make shit randomly explode. Just to like, give the illusion that it's like a really like hectic battlefield. Yeah. I like that. Alright. So you can do ration or I think regain does health. Or Rogaine does health also. Seth Rogaine. Yeah. Excuse me guys. Just this. your guns. Thank you. Thank you. I know you guys are. <laughs> you just see Snake with like an arm full of machine guns. <laughs> <laughs> just like walking around. They're like, what are you doing? What are you using those for? Um, uh, shut up. Yeah, oh, whoa, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I like this intense music and then just all this. Like this tiny little puff noise and then. Oh, I'm down. I think you can uh, lean out in this game too. I think it's the D-pad left or right if you're in the if you're in the yeah that ah yes. That's the other thing with these games. There's so many fucking controls. Like it's one of the most complex games for like control schemes because there's so many like oh. contextual like oh, yeah. things like yeah that. I got him. <laughs> oh, that was a real bullet. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. I missed this game. This is a fucking fantastic game. Oh, oh, oh. I have been playing PS3 quite a bit lately, but I don't think I don't think I'm gonna revisit this game 100 percent until Thank like you. You know, we start pro probably playing it more. Oh, this is a, this is a great game. I love this game. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. If only they could like. Oh, oh, shit. If only they could like release extra episodes for this, you know? Yeah, I know. Like with more gameplay in them. Oh, dude, because you think about like your str you know, like your stamina is going way fucking down. Maybe regain is for stamina. I don't remember. You should. You gotta eat something. Or take a compress or something. <laughs> What's regain? Regain is for health Snake and psych. Me. Yeah, when consumed. Um, so that I think would restore your psych because it's really low right now. So that affects your aim and shit. Like you, your aim is more wobbly when your psych is low. Ah, so it's not me that's the problem. Well, it is you. Whoa. Not you, the player. I mean, Snake. Snake. It's his perfect. body. It's his body fighting against him. At least there's no part Excuse like me. in number three where you're going down the lake with all the people that you've killed. Excuse me. 
<laughs> well, I haven't killed anyone, so... You've killed some people with the mortar. Uh, mortars kill people, not not me. Oh, excuse me. I was just there to guide the mortar along its way. Yes. And whatever happens, and with mortars, stay with mortars. For being really stressed, he's, he's doing this pretty methodically, I would say, you know? Where did you come from? That's a dead end right there. Excuse me, excuse me. Just need the gun. Okay. Hello? <laughs> he's got a sidearm. <laughs> like, he'll pull out his sidearm and start shooting you. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh my god. Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, gentlemen. I always like this though, like you're sneaking through a war zone. I think that's cool. <laughs> sneaking. I don't. I mean, I know you're not sneaking, but I mean, like, I mean, in general, like, yeah. you know. I can't wait until you die. Oop, sorry. Wrong button. I don't know what happens when your fucking stress or your sight goes all the way down. I don't My back know hurts. Do. You can shoot that down the helicopter if you want. I like shit like that in this game too. That's so funny. Like oh, you can have back pain. You have it. You have uh, you have an RPG. You can shoot that down with an RPG. Oh yeah. Hold on. I think I'm pretty sure it's unlocked. You might have to unlock it. Get rid of the stun knife. You don't need the stun knife. RPG set. There you go. Yeah, you can shoot it down with that. No, 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 you're flying away, <laughs> you bitch! Oh, you made it, you scared it off at the very least. Yeah. Yep, hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, you had an RPG too. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, he's on his way out, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's already limping. <laughs> Let me, uh. Let me help him along here. <laughs> <laughs> now you have this. Oh, shit. You gonna do it? Oh my god, did that helicopter come back? I think so. It must have. Ooh, maybe that was him. There he is. Yeah, get him. And he's just sitting there right for the shooting. There you go. There it is. Alright, fly in the other direction. Don't come this way. <laughs> yeah, he dropped it. I mean, that I mean, poor soul. That poor man. <laughs> I'm gonna be so You're such rich. such a vulture, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna be so fucking rich, dude. I don't know if you're that rich. You have to go in one of those doors on that building yeah, on the left. This. I don't even think you oh, need no, it. I don't, because you, you can keep taking all the ammo from everybody's guns. Well, you know. When in Rome. Real quick. Real quick. Just, you know. Yeah, but, you know, Francis, are you okay? Ah, ah. Ah. <laughs> You're on fire. Ah. 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 Oh no! Oh, oh my <laughs> Did you think of the monkey? <laughs> some Johnny pooping in there. <laughs> <laughs> Played back his last <laughs> moment. Monkey! <laughs> It's like his whole life is flashing before his eyes, and the first thing he sees is the monkey. Oh, damn it. Now I gotta redo all that? Alright, let's uh, take a cereal. Uh, Alright, let's get out. You haven't even gotten any camo on either. <laughs> like, that's another like notable thing, is that you don't have any camo on. How'd you get the poster? <laughs> there we go. Is that better? You like that? Well, I'm just, you know... The reason why they're they're seeing you so quickly is because you know it's just because you didn't have that. But um, no, fucking do what you want. <laughs> like you're taking it seriously, seriously. But it's like whatever. Like taking it seriously. Okay. And now you can explore the other paths that you didn't go down. See, like now you can do this. Like oh, there's a an APC or whatever. You can take that out with the mortar. More like a dead PC. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. 
Let's do it again. Do you think his solid eye shows him the trajectory? Probably. Or just he knows? Because he's such a seasoned combat vet. Oh, they'll turn on you if you kill too many of them. I'm killing these guys. Oh, I, I thought it was the militia down there. Where did he come from? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Shows. They need to do like a Jedi. Red Dead thing where it's like, you know, the. Yeah, yeah fucking. Dead eye. Yeah, the Dead Eye thing. That's so dumb. Suck my Grohls. <laughs> Suck my Dave Grohls. <laughs> <laughs> Just chicken. Just got four <laughs> guns. I'm gonna walk you. <laughs> carry them down the street. I just carry a wagon with me. What? I'm building a gun room in my cabin. Yeah. Get off. Shut up. <laughs> oh. Guns are fucking expensive, and most of them now are worthless because of the ID locks. So, you know, I just like them for show. It's for display purposes only. Can you prone underneath that? See, I didn't know that. That's awesome. I didn't know that. Yeah, normally I go this way. I literally did not know that. I never actually take the, the big street. I always yeah. take uh, the that side one with the house. This game came out in 2008. Isn't that fucked? That's pretty fucked. Like, and it still looks amazing. The textures maybe are a little, like, noticeably lower than what we're probably used to seeing. Some of the architecture, too, is maybe a little bit square and blocky, but not really. I think that's just part of, the, like, the way that this, like, area, area is. is designed, yeah. You gotta get that red dot. Or, not dot. That laser sight. Saying? Yeah. Yeah, there should be a dude in here. Yeah, see, like right there, the texture is a little, little low res on the textures, but so what? Oh, I think it's next. Yeah, or up one more. <laughs> no wonder why, because it's not a real door. I think you have the door camo on now. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I saw him like at the corner. <laughs> yeah, there's two of them. What you calling him? Ow! You gotta get that guy's gun too. He's got a good gun. Yeah. It's basically like your sniper rifle the whole game. Or at least it can be. It's also fully automatic, but usually you do semi-auto and make it a... Put a good scope on there. You're good. <clears throat> Scared me. This, this like, game too, I think, was like the, the pinnacle of the of the camo system also, obviously, because oh, yeah. of the, the fact that it was so, like instantaneous because like in number five you could you could choose a camo but you couldn't change it on the fly obviously which is understandable but like the camo index i don't think had nearly as much of a role as it does as is this game you know yeah then there's that the whole play dead thing i don't think that was a number five. Oh yeah look at how cool that is i forgot about that like, you actually look over ledges when you do it in first person. Like, if you, like, back out, or, like, I think if you stop aiming, like, yeah, he's like, see, he's, like, over the edge. Like, how cool is that? Like, I don't think he did that in number five at all. No. <laughs> and then there's, oh. like, the inchworm move you can do to, like, really, like, slowly, like... Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. They thought of so many things for this. Oh, this is why this is why that this game is my favorite one. <laughs> like the story is fan servicey and convoluted and long winded as shit. Oh yeah, what's up guys? But like the the gameplay elements are fantastic. I love it. Yeah, no. like the, the camouflage works the best. Not many of you guys died this time. The weapon selection is really good. Petrol bomb, that's that's not safe. I should put that back. <laughs> and I'm a long episode and you haven't gotten anywhere <laughs> of consequence. <laughs> I've but gotten it's, everywhere. It's the journey, right? It's about the journey. Oh. 
They've never done a like a remaster necessarily of any of the Metal Gear games though, have they? Uh, I don't think they have. Like the HD collection, I'm not counting because that's just they just upped it to a higher resolution. Yeah. I think it'd be great if they did a, like a remaster of something like this. I don't know. I just want to see another game in this style, like with this engine and everything. I don't know. Yeah. Because it's just I don't know. They just did a fantastic job on it. Whoa! <laughs> At first I thought you were, he was putting his hands up. So I thought <laughs> he was doing it. Oh, oh. He's surrendering. Ow. Were you able to do that in some game? I forget what it was. Oh, Hitman, I think? Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah, you, you could pretend. Yeah, you could fake surrender. And then you fucking... Just fuck Jitsu him and then <laughs> knock him out or whatever, yeah. But yeah, I was thinking earlier too, do you remember the, like, I know we're kind of, I'm getting way ahead of myself in this game, but like one of the best segments of the game, probably like my favorite chapter in the whole game, um, when you go back to Shadow Moses. Oh yeah. That part is so good. It's so good. Though the boss is meh at the best. Like at the end when you fight Ray. Uh, isn't it Wolf on that one? Uh, no, I'm talking in this one. Yeah, but aren't you fighting Wolf? No. Oh, like, oh yeah, the B&B, &B, sorry, yeah. Yeah, that battle, I mean, it's fine, whatever. Yeah, you fight uh, Crying Wolf, yeah, that's right. I thought you meant the Metal Gear fight at the end. Oh, sorry, missed it. Yeah, no, the Metal Gear solid fight's good, but... Yeah, you fight Wolf. I, you know what, in fairness, I think the only one of the... B and B fights that I really liked was Octopus. The Octopus one I think is the best. Yeah, probably because it's so intimate. Well, yeah, and it's just like it, it, like the mechanics of it make it like there's actual mechanics. It's not just fighting, you know. Like yeah. the, all the all the other ones kind of come across as like just being fighty. The Mantis one kind of has the quirk where you get the doll, I guess, but like it's not really not oh really a mechanic God. so much. As oh it my is God. Just, I'm sorry, gentlemen. I'm really fucking it right now. You're better, probably better off just going up and seeking you, seeing him. <laughs> hey, now you got him. Um, yeah, because the other one, yeah, the uh, Mantis, when you get the doll, then you just fling her around for a second, and then that's it. Yeah. Um, but he uses the six axis because you flip the controller around. Laughing well, Octopus, though, yeah, that's probably the best fight because she can hide and, like, change her shape and stuff, you know? Yeah, it's the most, like, interesting one. Yeah. And plus, she's the hottest one out of all of them, so... Yeah. <laughs> Which is sad when you when she finally, like, takes her, like, you know, gear off or whatever, and then you find out she's fucking crazy. You're like, oh, bummer, dude. <laughs> no, no, it's even hotter. <laughs> you gotta like oh. the crazy. You don't like the crazy Taylor, then what do you even like? What do you stand for? Weren't they all based off of real models? Yes. Yeah. Where? Sorry, what? Thank you for coming to my TED talk. All right. <laughs> everybody, everybody <laughs> just fucking <laughs> have a whole like a <laughs> bunch of people show up. <laughs> Oh, 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 I got a snake ground strike. Yeah, I'm helping you out. Do it to it, buddy. I'm ready for my close-up. Oh, shit. You got him? Did you get him? Got him. Oh, my God. Did you I get him? I don't want to go down, Billy. <laughs> Where, oh, where'd it go? I don't know. We're getting the building now. Because then if you die, we're going to do it all over again. And this has literally been the whole episode, it's just this segment. That was pretty sweet. There's a suit front flip, dude. Are there any other doors on that building? Okay. Go get in it. Yep. Totally doing it. <laughs> There's a lot of guns in there, I think. I don't know. <laughs> you don't need the no, ammo. I don't need you that don't one. need the I... ammo. Because <laughs> every gun you pick up, you get the ammo for it. And I haven't shot a single <laughs> shot other than darts. So. Yeah, you, you are good on ammo. 
what if I need it? <laughs> oh my God. But what if I need it? That's like the way you said that. <laughs> oh, is this where I fight the geckos? Yes. No, the frogs. They're yeah, whatever frogs. the fuck they're called. <laughs> There's yeah, mines all over this place though too. Guns. So you just gotta you can prone into them I think. Yeah. Um, easiest way to see them is if you use the night vision, but they're usually pretty obvious to see. Ooh, Playboy! You can actually look at the Playboy in this in this <laughs> game. I don't think they show anything explicit, but. Oh well, yeah, I mean, you, know, you family. You <laughs> you can see it though. Or like you can actually like look at it in first person and like flip through the pages or whatever. Salud, salud you, the, uh, oh, the frame rates get so much better. I know. I just I was gonna say the same thing. What the fuck? It's a body. Is it? Oh yeah. Why is it a body? Could probably just show you that there's uh things. Oh my god, I know my back hurts. Fuck you. Mine does too, Snake. You don't, don't see me complain. I don't ever remember there being a body there. Uh, see, look at right here, though. Like, imagine this game running normally, like, in 60 FPS. Like, that'd be awesome. That would be awesome. I do, I do, 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 do agree. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Just in case. Yeah, that's pretty much how I'd play this part too. You prone up everything. Okay. This is one of the stairwells there are mines. There are mines in. I need to let that thing charge. Mm -hmm. You um I think I, I'm not sure if it's in the store or not, but you get the P ninety coming up pretty soon too with the uh the frogs. And that's usually the weapon I use when you go through that whole encounter, just because you get basically unlimited ammo, because that's all they use is the P90. He didn't, he didn't go down the stairs. I just they, like that. Aren't they supposed to? Yeah. I'm guessing did. it wasn't steep enough. I think they do in certain areas, they do, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. I'm seeing if I could jump over. No, I think you can later. Yeah. All right, up the stairs. Then let's get this gecko fight. Yeah, I know. I called them geckos again. That's fine. Call them whatever you want. Who gives a shit? Whoa, bounce Betty! Like that was the Last of Us. Well, that was a sleep gas mine, so you would just fall asleep. But it'd just be like a poof, like a queef in his face. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a mine. Let me crawl face first into this claymore. <laughs> that seems like a good idea. Yeah. That's good. That's how they work, That's right? Good idea. Couldn't you like feasibly like uh, trigger it by just throwing like a rock at it or something? Yep. It's just a deadly thing to do. Because they shoot trap metal basically at you. That's uh, all they are is just a thing that shoots like, yeah, like little pellets. Little balls. Yeah. Which might not kill you, but will oh, make they, you. tear you up. Yeah. It, it, it most likely will kill you because of all the arteries you have in your body. And then a thing just kind of ripping through, mm -hmm. ripping and dipping, you know what they say. Once you rip, you're going to be forced to double dip. Yeah, because you rip too much. Mm-hmm. Too much. Oh, yeah, there's like a laser field up here somewhere that you can't go through. Yeah. I don't know what happens if you try to go through it, but you can't go through it. Yeah, there it is. Probably explodes because it's like connected. To yeah, I think you're right. Yep, you're a trip. Yep, it's a bomb. Ooh. I like soup. I think. I mean, obviously they do that so that way you can't progress past where you need to go. Because they yeah. deactivate it later and Johnny deactivates it with a fucking little keyboard on his, on his arm. Yeah. Alright. I think you just keep going up. 
I know you're just picking through every floor because there's shit laying around. Yeah. Um, oh my ass! They, yeah, you gotta go up. Gotta go up, 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 up. How long do you think they spent modeling Snake's butt? Not probably not that long. Like I'm sure that's probably one of the first things they got down. <laughs> Kojima is like, all right, biggest new feature, butt. Because I feel like they gradually worked their way up the butt scale. At least you know, it's like how how much butt are we talking about Kojima? Like they had different iterations, like eighteen different iterations. He's his nose always just came back butt. More butt. <laughs> More butt. <laughs> More butt. <laughs> <laughs> Not last, but two. More, but two. <laughs> More, but two. <laughs> oh, because I mean, they were kind of there were kind of inklings of it in Metal Gear Solid Two, right? Like his butt was kind of you know yeah, it was yeah. pretty tight in number in number uh, number two. Yeah, Not to was... mention we saw Raiden's butt, you know. Yeah, a lot. So I think that would kind of laid down the foundation for what would eventually become the Metal Gear Solid Four butt. Um, it's a great butt. Yeah, you know, for an old man. Yeah, good butt. I, I think most of the the suit is doing most of the work. I think. Oh yes, but but most of the time, that's true for all. Yeah. Oh, I gotta risk my life to get this iPod music. <laughs> they don't have. They don't have fucking don't iTunes sound. out here. Yeah, they don't have internet. So you gotta find it just based off someone else's, and you you tether them together, and you take it. I do, I do like the inclusion of the iPod. I think that's fun. I think that's fun. Personally, I'm a Zune fan, so... Well, yeah, but I'm but just they saying... They chose correctly with iPod. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, for marketing purposes, but also just for the sake of, like... Um, oh, my heart. But also just for the sake of, like, you have the option to choose music whenever you want. Yeah. I think that's fun. And I like that it de-stresses. Yeah. That's the fun thing about all these games. There's always like those weird, quirky things like that. Like he thinks about that shit, you know. There's so many intricacies, like, and that's what makes it. I don't know. Makes it fun. It makes, makes it, it a lot you know, of fun. More yeah. interesting. Like when I'm like, when you aim in first person down the sights, if you hit the thing, you can lean. And then, oh, your stress is high and your psych is low, so therefore your aiming is worse. You know, and like, like there's, yeah, there's all, makes sense. all these like little situations that you have to like kind of like account for and be, you know, aware of. <sighs> I think by the time you get to the door, I think I think we might have to save it and say like do it next time because there's a long cutscene. Yeah. So, I know we're just kind of like going through and just picking stuff up, but because you know. But I mean, you're gonna you're gonna do it anyway. And there's a ration there. Yep. Just. Saw but once you get to the door, or at least close, like save it, and then if we trigger the cutscene, we can just end it there. But save it before you trigger it. Yeah. Because there's this long, long cutscene. And then we get into the frog battle. Where they do, like, kick flips. And... Oh, yeah. There's a lot of flips, a lot of tits. Um, a lot of tit flips. A lot of... Uh, Sexy women assassins. Come back. Yeah, save it like right here. Damn it, bitch. If you press start, yeah, you go save. Just because, yeah, we're gonna, you're probably gonna end up triggering it here in a minute. I think this game is definitely going to be one where we're going to have longer episodes because the game is so freaking long. Yeah. <laughs> but that's why we love it. <laughs> my pussy. And my crack. My neck, my back, my neck, and my back. <laughs> it hurts. That's it just keeps hurting. As if Fabio said it worked because there's customers up front. <laughs> so I think he started it and then he realized somebody was up front, so then he just went <laughs> he my neck, just... my back again. <laughs> my neck, my back. Here's the cutscene. My... Alright, well next time on Chin Snap Chaps, we will trigger the cutscene 
watch a couple movies, and then we'll be uh, into the next uh, segment of the game. And then we'll be crawling into the night. What, what the fuck is this? I don't remember this. Is there just stuff down here? Animal things? Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, You're gonna be my pet shit. now. <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> Warmer!